Hello YouTube, today I'm going to talk about my top 5 cloud storage services. Now I am going to be ranking them based on three different criteria. One, app support. You know, iOS app, Android app, Windows app. And then the second thing is how much storage space comes free. And then the third, the speed it uploads or the amount of bandwidth you get to upload at a time. You know, like when you're uploading to box.com, it only lets you upload up to like two gigabytes at a time or something like that. All right. So number five is Dropbox. Now you're probably thinking, why isn't Dropbox number one? The reason I put Dropbox at number five was because of its app support is great. You know, you can be using an Android phone and you take a picture, automatically upload it. And with the iPhone, it does the same thing. Um, but the only thing I do not like about Dropbox is the fact it does not come with a whole lot of free storage. I believe it was like 2 or 5 gigabytes, something like that, and then you can refer a friend and get a, some more space, but not one of my favorites. And number four, Real Player Cloud. Now the reason I put Real Player Cloud at number four is because there's no storage cap to them, there's no uh, loading cap for Real Player Cloud. It is like the Dropbox for movies. It has an iOS app, an Android app, and a desktop app. It works really good. I love Real Player Cloud. When you get a movie, you can just upload it, whether it's Man of Steel or it's your home video. It doesn't matter. It can be anything. And then you can stream it or you can download it to each of those devices. I'll have referral codes down in the description. So if you guys want to get an extra gigabyte when signing up, you guys can do that too. And then, number three, Google Drive. Perhaps one of my favorite cloud storage services. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact it has a limit of 15 gigabytes, but that's pretty good. Google Drive lets you have 15 gigabytes free. Um, there's no limit to the amount you can upload at once. So you can upload a 15 gigabyte file and be just fine. The reason I chose Google Drive as number three is app support. It's uh, supporting the iPhone, the Android devices. It supports really well. It lets you stream, it lets you download, and it also works really well with docs and pictures and such. And you can share it through your Gmail and your Google Plus just fine. I'll have a, I don't have a referral link, but I'll have a link down to a video I actually put up for streaming on Google Drive so you guys can see the quality that Google Drive offers when uploading HD video. All right, number two is OneDrive, formerly known as SkyDrive. The reason this is number two was because this is my very first cloud. They've been good to me. Um, I was an early adopter of SkyDrive when it ran the first time it came out, and I have 35 gigabytes free for a lifetime. And then if you guys see, uh, looked at the Bing Rewards, also do a hundred. If you redeem a hundred points, you can get you can redeem 100 points for 100 gigabytes for one year on OneDrive. Um, I'll have a link down in the description for Bing Rewards so you guys can sign up and uh, you guys can get some extra points. The reason OneDrive is number two. One, because it's fast. Uh, the app support I believe is only on Android, Windows Phone. I don't believe they have an iOS app. They may have. But this is th the reason I put this as Number two was because the amount of storage they give free. Um, this is a lot of storage. They have a limit of two gigabytes at a time, but it's still a steal. Uh, 100 points from being rewards is equivalent to a dollar, and you get 100 gigabytes for one year. That's amazing. It's really good. All right, now time for number one. Now, you may not be surprised if you actually know me, but this is the best cloud service I have ever used, Mega. 50 gigabytes free when you first sign up. Um, I'll leave a link down in the, the description so you guys can sign up. Yeah, there's no cap limit at all to how much you can upload at once. None. Um, the, I really like Mega because it just it stores everything. All the HD videos you see on here on YouTube is stored up in my Mega account. And it was good for me after my laptop died. I wasn't sure if my hard drive survived, but it did. Um, that's how I got my videos back. That's how you guys still got videos after my laptop died. Is because I had all these videos 
pre-done and uploaded. And I still have tons of raw footage from files and such I was working on. Some of the VFX I did, I have, because you do, I did multiple VFX to get to where I am. So I kind of do one, didn't really like it, two, didn't really like three, didn't like it. But I still keep them in case I want to build off of that. And uh, it's very nice, very nice. But the downside of it is it's not supported by iOS. You cannot get an iOS app. But there is an Android app. So that's good. But uh, yeah, Mega is definitely uh, my number one. It has been my all time favorite. Now that I'm done with this top five, I'll make sure to leave all the referral codes down in the description so you guys can uh, get some extra storage when signing up for any of these services. Um, some of them are not, do not do referral codes, but I'll leave a link to where you can sign up for these services and hopefully you'll enjoy them as much as I have. To end this video, I'm just going to be saying that if you guys go to my about page on the YouTube channel, I have a ton of referral code stuff. You guys can go and sign up and uh, hopefully you like. Um, honorable mentions go to Fire Drive, Media Fire, and Copy. Um, the reason that these services did not get in the top five is because they did not have app support. Um, Fire Drive is relatively new, but they gave you 15 gave 50. 50 gigabytes free when you sign up. Mediafire gives you 10 and Copy gives you 10 gigabytes with a referral code which I'll have down in the description. Box, uh, I have 50 gigabytes free with them but the only reason they did not reach the top five or the honorable mentions was because of their bandwidth cap when you, you can't upload any more than like a gigabyte at a time. So, but that was it's still nice for you know pictures and documents and all that. That's box is great for that. Oh, also don't forget to uh, follow me on SoundCloud and Google Plus. I'll have the links down in the description so you guys can follow me there. Um, uh, I also have done a lot of stuff on Google Plus that has not been available on my YouTube channel. Um, so if you guys want to keep in touch with me, go follow my Google Plus down in the description, and uh, hopefully I'll see you there.